there, which is good. And we're going to play Street Fighter V, um, which is always a good time. Um, and there's reasons why we're doing this. Uh, so... Okay, just give me one moment. There we go. Just had to type some things into the computer. Actually streaming from the computer today, so I don't know how the frame rate's gonna go. <laughs> um, do need a controller. Ah, that'll be good fun. Okay, um, and while I'm thinking about it, I should just share... Let's see if I can get that camera into a slightly better position. How's that? Uh, yeah, it's fine, I guess. The colours are going to look a bit funny because it's a hot day, I've got a sun coming through the window. It actually looks brighter in the camera than it does in real life. It's actually quite dark in here in real life. The camera's uh, doing a lot of work. Um, but, I've got that. I have, also, a glass of water. And to give you an idea, I have a little clock beside my desk. I, I just want to show you guys something, if I just get this out. Uh, I'm not sure how well, how visible that's going to be, but yeah, you can see the temperature in here right now is 29.1 degrees, okay? I have two fans running, I have an air conditioner running, it's 29.1 in here. That will increase, that will increase, it's going to be 39 degrees uh, where I live today. So, that will increase. Um, and everything else will increase. I'm just going to do some last minute checking of things just to make sure. But, uh, so yeah, oh hello, it's uh, B.I. Beeps in my chat. Someone's in my chat, that's amazing. It's, uh, anyway, uh, let me untangle myself. We're gonna, hmm. So, I was thinking I should do fight request, but I'm very bad at Street Fighter Five. Um, but you know what? We're going to do fight request anyway. I'm, I'm going to put my put myself online. You can all see my mad skills that I don't actually have. I was considering playing Sakura, who's new out. I think what we'll do is play Kami online and Sakura in arcade mode um, when we get to it. So we'll apply those settings and we'll search for an opponent. Let's jump into arcade mode. Um, okay, so I've done uh, Street Fighter 1 and 2, but I haven't completed Alpha... Or three. So the way these work, uh, in case you're unfamiliar with Arcade Edition, it added arcade modes, and each arcade mode is really interesting. In fact, we'll go in, we'll do each one. We'll do each one. That, that's our plan. We're going to do arcade mode, and we're going to play online battles. It's going to be good fun. Um, so we'll see how we go. It's, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's... Oh, boy. It's horrible out there. Okay, so Street Fighter only had like two selectable characters. And then you see, I never bought any of the DLC for this game. So I, I, the only unlocked character I have is um, Ibuki. Um, we're going to play as Ryu because I'm okay with Ryu. Just turn the volume down a little bit on my end. Uh, ah, V-Trigger. Um, uh, I haven't got the hang of the second ones yet. We'll, we'll play the first one. Uh, okay, we're playing against Birdie. So, the way this works, if you ever played Street Fighter 4, um, Fight Request is basically, it's like you're playing arcade mode, and then if, you, if you're in an actual arcade, what used to happen was you'd be playing in the arcade mode, and then some, like, 10-year-old Chinese kid would walk up, insert their quarters, and absolutely wreck you, um, and then steal your game. Um, no, that's not how I do a Hadouken. That's how I do it. Oh, no. Okay, my timing's bad. There we go. That's what I want. Okay, so that's... I, I can fireball, and I can dragon punch, and I should be able to tattoo as well if I... There we go. Okay, that's all my moves. That's everything I know. Oh, and I can throw. I remember how to throw. The AI is not that hard. <laughs> okay. Okay, and this is what happens. So the fight gets interrupted, and we have to play online. And now I have to get used to playing as Kemi. So that's always good fun. <laughs> well, I look, I'm not I wouldn't say I'm horrible at um like I played I Steam reckons I've got about 46 hours in Street Fighter 5. The problem is that I'm just I I don't I, I like to be very aggressive and that's my undoing. Um, you, you'll see that here with Kami, that I tend to play very aggressively. Um, 
and it's just oh boy a good player knows how to deal with it, like, a, even a moderately okay player will know how to deal with it. Um, a bad player won't, but, uh, I, I, I'm at a point now where I rarely get bad players. There we go. First exchange one. Oops. Oh, they nerfed that! Oh, she doesn't get the second hit on that! Oh, she does now. Okay, that's, that's something that's changed since the last time I played this, because that used to be an awful throw. Jeez. Okay. That was probably good. Okay. So, that went well. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's try that again. <laughs> also, the other problem then... Oh, do I, do I actually have to wear that hat of shame for the rest of the game? Do I? Oh no, we lose it there. Okay, so she actually man has to manually combo into that. There we go. Okay, that didn't go well. I feel like I'm doing better this round, but... I'm using Kami's good V-Trigger. I haven't got the hang of the other V-Trigger. But this guy knows that combo and he knows how to do it, and that's basically the enemy. Oh, we'll rematch. Was this a ranked battle? Did I just lose rank? Because I'm like, rookie rank, I think? Bronze rank, maybe? I'm ter I'm terrible rank, anyway. I'm trash ranked. So. Oh, dog Kami. <laughs> oh, he didn't stay around for another battle. Oh, oh well. I would've. Oh well. We get to, we get to fight Birdie again. I can't skip this. The only downside to arcade mode is that when you come back into it, you have to start the fight from the very beginning. So if you've won a round or something like that, you, you, you're stuck. But that's how the game works. So. Round one. Fight. Got to not do the jump-ins. So, my problem with Kami is that for years and years, I thought that Kami was an air character. Kami is not an air character, by the way, guys. Kami is actually mostly a ground character. She has really solid anti-airs. Um, Cannon Spike is an amazing anti-air. Okay, I'm just using normal spike for some reason. There we go. There we go. I've also, um, in case you're wondering what my button layout, I'm actually playing on a controller. Um, oh man, I really... Jeez, oh, I'm an idiot. I have an arcade stick lying around here. <laughs> I forgot to plug it in. I was going to do that. I was thinking yesterday. You know what? I should plug my arcade stick in. Oh, that was... That was horrible. Um, if you want good fighting games, go watch Maximilian or something, guys. Um, but yeah, I, I was going to plug my... Um, uh, Hori arcade stick, my Xbox 360 stick that I've had for years and years and years, which I actually bought so I could play Street Fighter 4 uh, when that came out. Um, and uh, yeah, it came out pretty well. So, uh, yeah. I'm too scruff. <laughs> I'm very scruff, yeah. That's what it is. At least I'm not a Ken scrub. Like, I, at least I play someone who isn't Ken. So, arcade mode, when you beat a guy in arcade mode, you get the option of playing a slightly harder opponent for more points, or a slightly weaker opponent for less points. Um, so we're going to go the Belrog option here. Belrog wasn't actually in Street Fighter 1. Birdie was. Um, Birdie is one of the characters. Only two characters made it from Street Fighter 1. Uh, three characters made it from Street Fighter 1 to Street Fighter 2, which were um, Ryu, Ken, and Sagat, who was the final boss. Um, so Balrog was never actually... But there was a boxer character in the first game. It's not Balrog. It's like some other dude. Uh, it's not Dudley, I don't think. But there was another boxer character in Street Fighter 1, but he was quite different to the way Balrog came out. Don't like Bell Rock. <laughs> Never like him. Or if we're going correct fighting game community terms, I don't like Boxer. Of course, Bell Rock in Japan is called M. Bison. And Capcom changed the name in the West so that Mike Tyson wouldn't uh, sue. That's funny. Okay. KO. Nice. Good work.
Round two. I'll be honest with you, the, the Xbox One control is very good for um, fighting games. Like, the D-pad is really nice. It's really nice and clicky, so you can really feel when you get the inputs right. So you can see there, I got the... See, I can do the tattoo, and let me let me get out of Dragon Punch. There we go, see? It's really nice. And I have my layout set so that light and medium... Or, uh, sorry, light and he heavy are on the face buttons, and medium's on the shoulder buttons. So, if I want a V skill... I remember how. Oh, how do you use reuse VT? Hey, it's those buttons. Isn't it? No? Okay, it's whatever. Whatever. Yeah, we go. Got it right. Um, but I didn't actually do anything with it. Um, but yeah, having uh, lights and heavies on the face buttons and putting mediums on shoulders is really good. Works really well. Um, yeah, so. Oh, Abigail. Cool. So, the really fun thing about Arcade Mode too is that if you haven't unlocked these characters, you can still fight against them. Um, they'll still show up in Arcade Mode. So, I, I don't own Abigail at all, because I skipped Season 1 and Season 2. Um, I might buy them if they go on sale, but yeah. I'm kind of tempted by Season 3 though, because I like Sakura a lot. Um, she's really fun. Um, and I'll do the Street Fighter 2 Arcade Mode so that we can play as Sakura. I think she's in 2? No, she might not be. It might be Kemi. I might go to the Alpha Arcade Mode then. Round one. Abigail looks Fight. stupid, by the way. A ridiculous looking character. Oops. Ah! Oh. Messed up, sorry. So, I played a little bit of Sakura yesterday, but... It reminds me why I don't generally do that well with Shodos. Like, I, I think I mentioned before um, that I play, I tend to play very aggressively. Um, and that's fine. Um, so I tend to be very aggressive. And I find that proper Shotos like uh, Ryu, Ken, and Sakura, um, not as fast. I'm not as I'm not as good with them. They they, they they don't reward my aggressive style as much as I think Tammy does. Hey guys, look at me! I can do soup. I, I can combo into supers off at all kinds. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's fantastic. So. Yeah, Capcom literally beats. Yeah, yeah. No, they do. They beat you in the face with uh, DLC. Sakura is actually free to play at the moment, um, which they did the same thing when Season 1 launched, they made Guile free for a little while uh, when Season 1 launched. Now, fight your rival! So we get to fight Ken. I do love the new presentation, it's so much nicer than the um, than the older version. The, the versus screens and everything like that look great, um, and they've sort of tweaked the, uh, the in-game display, um, looks a lot nicer. Um, everything's got this gold sheen to it that actually works really well, it's quite... You know, gold can be a colour that uh, comes across as really tacky, but I think they've, they've made it pretty tasteful here. Um, everything looks nice, yeah, you see? I actually think I prefer the on-screen presentation. Like, I, I feel like Street Fighter V's on-screen presentation is not as good as Street Fighter Four, and I think that... I think this is a big improvement. Um, I really liked Street Fighter IV's presentation. I thought it was really clever. Um, but, of course, there is no video, no fighting game in the world that will ever top Street Fighter Alpha 3's on-screen presentation. That game was on point. Although, the first Marvel vs. Capcom, if you've ever seen that, that looks freaking fantastic as well. Um, but yeah, Ken Scrub. Good old Ken Scrubs. Round two. There we go. I might want to get a text message. Oh! I miss my hard ult when we got Ken. So that's reuse V skill. Um, it It's actually a counter. You have to use it like a counter. And then uh, you can combo off it. So, damn it. I, I was trying to time it again, but I, I messed it up. Basically, uh, it works like the old... Um, uh, focus attacks in uh, Street Fighter 4, like a, a fast focus attack. 
should have tattooed. Why didn't I tattoo them? Why am I not? Why am I? Okay, this isn't going well. Okay, let's let's get real. Get the body point. And the AI, a level four AI can. Oh boy, this won't go well. Oh, give me an unblockable, damn it. There we go. How did that tattoo only hit once? Uh oh. Oh, jeez, I thought I was going to live. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, hey, it's the uh, Evo 2017 stage. Just noticed that. Ah oh, well, we didn't beat. Oh, okay, one. Well, that's because I'm trash at Ryu. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try that again. Um, I've already beaten that mode anyway, so it's fine. Uh, we didn't. We only got the one uh, online fight then too. Um, I'll go to the Alpha one so we can have a play with uh, Sakura. Uh, in fact, what I might do uh, while we're here, once it loads, I do think the loading times are a little bit quicker. This is. I'm playing on PC, uh, obviously, because that seemed like the best version of the game at the time. Um, but yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, the original Marvel vs. Uh, the controversial soundtrack to Marvel vs. Capcom. Um, let's uh, go back out, and you know what? We we're gonna commit to this concept. Let's uh, let's hit that, and we'll change our favorite character. So, the way you do this is really weird in Street Fighter. Uh, Street Fighter Five, you you set your character and everything up before you go online. You don't select the character in the online battle, which is kind of weird. Um, I will go with... So, because Sakura is unlocked for free, all her costumes are unlocked at the moment. So she's got her story costume. She's got default costume, which is really nice. Story costume, which looks cool. Battle outfit, which is her uh, gi uh, type outfit. And nostalgia, which is her classic uh, school uniform uh, outfit, um, which looks really cool. My dad is really excited about Labo. Uh, okay, uh, so should I go Nostalgia or should I go Battle Outfit? Uh, okay, you go get stuff done, um, and have fun, and I will continue to stream. Um, I'll continue to suck at Street Fighter V. Okay, uh, do I want Sakura? Let's try the story costume. I haven't tried the story costume. And we'll go with B Trigger 2, which is really fun. They're both really fun. Um, so we'll go with Sakura in there. Uh, back out of that. Apply settings. We'll go Arcade. Arcade. And we'll go Street Fighter Alpha. And we'll also play Sakura. Let's start. Street Fighter Alpha. Seems like a good fun time. Um, I should probably mention that I'm not streaming Horizon Zero Dawn. Hey, let's play Sakura. Yeah, so that's uh, Sakura's uh, story costume. Um, here we go, we can get a good look at them all here. So the default costume is this, um, then the story costume, which is what we selected for that. Battle outfit, just for gi, and nostalgia. Classic Sakura school uniform. And then there's different color variants, um, which are all, of course, again, based on classic color schemes she's had all those times. Um, I'm not sure what the color differences are for the nostalgia outfit. Oh, that's right, she has a Ken one, yeah. Oh, and a Dan one. She has a Dan one. <laughs> we can't not be Sakura and Dan, right? That that sounded really wrong. Speaking of really wrong, Sakura's uh, story mode um, is... Oh boy. Let's just say Sakura is after one thing and Ryu has that one thing and boy does she want it in her. And that's not even a lie. <laughs> Sakura's out of school now, apparently, and that's fine, according to Capcom. That's totally fine. Okay, so this is Sakura. Let's, uh, let's show off Sakura. That's Fireball! That is her awesome Dragon Punch. With that stupid range that it's always had. She also has her, uh, Tatsu. If I can get it out. There you go, that's her tattoo. And she has a V skill that is fantastic. So that's the V skill. The jump is actually the skill, and then you can uh, combo your. Well, not combo, you can um, 
bring it in, uh, bring it into certain things. So you've got, you've got, uh, three punches will get you that, and then, oh, well, I'm just gonna hard, I'm just gonna medium kick Chun Li here. Um, so you got three punches that gets you that. There's also the kick, which is a dive kick type thing, and there's also an air throw. Uh, not an air, I don't, actually, I don't think it is an air throw. Um, I'll try and do it. Oh, I'll just throw. Okay, let me try. While we're here, no. Okay, need the distance. There we go. Oh no! Stop blocking low, damn you! You're gonna block low. I'm gonna freaking fireball you. Chun Li's just gonna block low here, so I'm just gonna fireball until she decides to cooperate with us. I should have done this in training mode, right? There we go. That's nice. Okay, and her critical art is a. Uh, I think a critical art is a souped up fireball again. But anyway, that was her V skill. So those moves are her V skill, which you can use obviously to build V meter if you're attacking. Um, but she has other stuff as well. Are we going to go Kami or Mika? Uh, they're both level 3, so we'll go Kami. Um, I'm not sure if the AI difficulty increases based on... Um, I'm not sure if the AI difficulty increases based on the level, the stage you're at as well, or if it's only determined by that uh, level indicator there. Um, just gonna adjust my headphones because they're a little bit far on my head. There we go. Okay. Whew. Ooh -wee. Um, hmm. Round one. Also, I've been considering uh, changing my stream layouts, and Cammy even gets her uh, Alpha Shadow Lou uh, costume. Which I need to unlock at some point, actually, because it's really cool. I just like Kami. She's my favourite character in the game. Uh, always has been, pretty much. Ow. Oh, and Sakura has the uh, the angled fireball as well, the anti-air, which is forward. It's basically so Tatsu is obviously that, and then it's the forward version of that, which uh, I didn't know she had in previous games before this game, but I barely played her in four. Um, anyway, so... Yeah. That works well. <laughs> um, I'll try actually using her V-Trigger this time if I can. Uh, I'll see, see how it looks. But I kind of like Sakura because I find her a little bit, uh, more mobile than Ryu or Ken. Um, like, I've never liked Ryu and Ken as characters, like, Back in the, the classic Street Fighter 2 arcade days, like when World Warrior and Champion Edition were a thing, I mostly actually played Blinker, which turned out to be a bad idea because I am terrible at charge characters. Um, and I wish I'd known that at the time. Because um, the only move I could ever do with Blinker is like electricity, because just spam a button. And sometimes I'd get his cannonball out as well, but I was never very good with him. Um, and I, so, at the time I didn't play a lot of, uh, Street Fighter though. Um, I sort of, I didn't get into the, I didn't seriously get into arcade gaming until a bit later. Um, so the first Street Fighter I seriously played was probably the first Alpha game. Um, uh, which of course had, uh, the Sakura wasn't in it until Alpha 2, but it had, I think it had a really nice chun Lee that I used to play a fair bit, although, again, I think she was a charge character. <laughs> but it had Kami as well. Oh, oh no, I played Super Street Fighter 2 because that's where I first encountered Kami um, was Super Street Fighter 2 and I'm like, hey look at this chick in the cute bathers and um, let's see how she fights. Round I was one. 12 or 13 at the time. <laughs> so I was more interested in how, how cute she looks than uh, how good she was as a character. Um, but I played, so that was how I sort of learned about Kami, and then the Alpha games, when she showed up in those, I played her, but I also started playing Sakura a lot as well in the Alpha games, because, um, she was, I, I saw someone play her in the arcade, and I was like, hey, it's a girl who plays like Ryu, that'd be fun. Damn it, Charlie. So, the thing with, uh, Nash. Uh, if you don't know your Street Fighter lore, you probably don't know this, but Nash is the most powerful fighter. Like, he is probably the most powerful fighter. Remember, Nash can do sonic booms with one arm. No, seriously, I'll, I'll see if he gets one out here. He hasn't done one on me yet. But you watch, yeah, see? He just throws them out with one arm. Oh, whoops. That wasn't supposed to happen. That wasn't supposed to happen. 
Still, this is a cool stage, so I really like this flying on a plane over a city. So I think it's meant to be Dubai or um, Abu Dhabi or somewhere like that. Um, I think they call it, just call it UAE. No. Oh. Okay, this is her V skill, and it gives her powered up moves like that. Sorry, her V-Trigger. And that is her super and it's going to hit. Oh, her super is actually a super dragon punch in this game. Okay. Because it used to be that, um... The her original super was that sort of weird, uh... Sort of combo that she did. That it wasn't... Like, there was a fireball in it, but there were a couple other hits as well, as I recall. Stay back. Oh no, he got me. Well, that's that round done. You lose. Damn. Uh, am I going to continue? Problem is, if you continue, your score resets, and getting a score unlocks stuff in um, in this mode. Um, so, uh, no, we'll continue anyway, because you still unlock some things uh, by not continuing, but not everything. So. Just uh, do that. Okay. Whew. And of course, I'm I, I, I'm doing this partly to wait for online matches as well. So let's see how we go with online. Well, let's get with Sakura. Um, I'll change the outfit. Let, let's go the classic school uniform. Uh, the V comments auto. Yep, that's all good. Uh, and Sakura Simpo or Haru Arashi. I'll go back to Har Haru Arashi. Uh, for a little while. Let's see how that one works. I'm genuinely not good enough to really be able to put out the difference between them, but hey, we'll try it. We'll see how we go. Round one. Fight. Okay. Actually, you know what? I've had a thought. I'm just going to uh, go to the main menu, and I'm going to do a little bit of dusting. I need to do some dusting, and I need to do some other stuff. So I'm going to go AFK for a short while. I'm probably going to get a new glass of water too, so I'm just going to drop away for a little while, and then I'll be back. Um, and when I'm back, we're going to have an arcade stick. So we'll see how that goes.
Okay, guys, we're back. What's going on there? Let me do that, and hopefully that solves that problem. There we go. There we go. Okay, we're back. I have a drink. Decided to go with some Coke this time because whatever. And I have my trusty arcade stick. Um, it's a Hori Fighting Stick EX2. <laughs> it dates from whenever Street Fighter 4 came out. Hopefully Street Fighter 5 is okay with having its controls cha changed under it. Um, and also I should probably check what the uh, buttons are on this thing. So let's uh, have the inputs. Direct input controller settings, nice. Uh, okay, press any button. Yep, sure. Okay, cool. Sure, that worked. Um, where's my B button? There it is. Okay, we might just have to do this uh, on the fly. Uh, we'll go back into arcade and we'll have a crack again. Uh, the Street Fighter Alpha, which I now have. Oh man, that's embarrassingly bad. Uh, I'll just push my keyboard and mouse under. There we go. Okay, let's uh, start the game. Alpha. Right. Sakura. Um, we're going to go nostalgia costume this time, aren't we? Yeah. Yep. Let's go. Okay, and we'll use Haro Arashi. Uh, Stone one. Did hopefully fight request is still turn up. This doesn't feel too bad, this stick. It's got nice buttons, like, nice smashable buttons and everything like that. Like, it's a bit old, it's a bit dated, but uh, it's not perfect, for sure. Um, but, you know, it has it seems. Let me, let me see what the controls are. Hang on. Okay, this needs to be fixed up. Okay. Controller set, yes. Okay, so, controller type is... Uh, let's have a look. So, BXY should be punches. Um... So, X, Y, okay, so, hmm, A, L, T, and R, T should be the kicks. Ah, okay, so type C is what I want. B, X, Y, A, L, T, R, T, okay, excellent. That's fine. Uh, close, let's, uh, let's go back. Let's uh, back out of that. Yep, light, medium, heavy, light, medium, heavy. Okay. Let's play. Oh, this is nice. Except that I can't do dragon punches all of a sudden. <laughs> I haven't done them. I haven't used a stick in a little while. <laughs> oh, so much nicer on my thumbs up. Oh, oh, it feels good. Okay. It's going to take me a little while to readjust using the stick, because it's been a few years. Because most of my Street Fighter Fiving has been done on the control pad. I think we'll get there. I think we will get there. You did it. Yep. I like this stick actually because it's quite small. Um, like a lot of arcade sticks, big chunky things are supposed to rest on a table. This one is it's light enough you can rest it on your knees. Um, oh, hit! Nice. I didn't really intend to get it up, but it, it, it hit, so that's fine. That's fine. Um, oh, okay. Stop looking at your phone while you're doing supers, Norman. Okay. It all can. Come on, let me do my, uh, let me do my... There we go. I don't know, um, incidentally. Oops. Ow. Chun-Li, please. Oops. Okay. I should've got punished badly then. I don't know if, when you do the V skill with the punch, if the, the punch matters in terms of damage or some other way it changes move, whether you use light, medium, or heavy. Because you just need to pre press uh, three punch buttons. Um, so I don't know if that actually matters. So let me check some stuff. Okay. Neat. Neat! Uh, Birdie or Cammy? Uh, you know what? I'm thinking. Birdie. I'm thinking Birdie. It's going to take me a little while to get, uh, get the hang of the stick. But yeah, this is an Xbox 360 stick. Obviously, it works fine on PC because we're playing the PC version. So, uh, no problems there. Okay. Direct input controllers for the win. Or X input, it's called, isn't it? X input controllers for the win. 
But I did a lot of Street Fighter 4 with this Round controller. One. Um, but yeah, it feels Fight. good. Buttons, I've got to admit, the buttons actually feel a bit mushy um, these days. Although, not mushy, like, they're still pretty responsive and instant. There's not a lot of travel. Like, you don't want an arcade stick with lots of travel. Like, I remember years ago I found a cheap one for a PlayStation 2, um, which I bought with the intention of playing, jeez, oh, probably Guilty Gear Double X, because um, that would have been the, the PS2 fighter I had at the time. Um, although, I probably had a couple of I, I had Devil I. No, I never had Devil Live on the PlayStation 2 DOA 2. I had the Dreamcast, but I had a Dreamcast arcade stick, actually. That thing is really nice. Um, if you've never used a Dreamcast arcade stick, boy, you're in for a good 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 experience. That is a very nice arcade stick. In fact, I know I know people actually have their uh, Dreamcast arcade sticks modded um, to work over USB now. Um, because it's still a really good stick. Um, and uh, people really like them. Stop using needles, damn it. God's her dragon punch is great. That's a fun move, it really is. I'll see if I can show off the throw. Uh, so that's the kick. Um, oh, I missed it. Damn. Try it again. There we go. That's the throw. Um, so uh, basically, so off off the V skill, which is both mediums, you can do the three hits, uh, which is just any punch button three times. You can do the kick, which is the dive kick, which is just any kick. Um, I am going to go with Cammy. Um, so any kick, which is the dive kick. Um, and if you do a throw, which of course is uh, both lights, um, you will get that throw. Um, I, I don't know if it's an air throw, maybe? Um, I'm not sure. But it, 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 does, it does work. Um, I'll, I'll try it again at the start of this fight, just so you can see it Round on a non-KO. Yeah, okay, it may not be an air throw because I didn't get it out. Oh, but, yeah, any, anything beats throwing the air, right? Yeah. And Cammy keeps ducking under it anyway. Let's just fight it. Okay, I tried it then, and it didn't connect, so I don't think it is an air throw. Um, so, yeah. And I guess that makes sense. Anyway, let's, uh, let's, uh, start taking this seriously now. So you're probably noticing a couple of things that I'm bad at. One is getting combos out. Um, I don't really... I'm not, not good at the timings for a lot of combos. That was alright. But that's not a, you know, combo, I guess. I mean, my, my general thing is that I know how to do quarter circles and dragon punches. Um, and I try to do them as often as possible. It's how I play Kami, because of course all her moves are quarter circles and dragon punches. Except for freaking Hooligan. Cammy was blocking and then jumped up into that. So that was good for her. Good for us. Um. My other problem, a lot of the time, is I jump in um, too much. And I, I know with Sakura that's terrible. Like, Kami, it's better because Kami can f offer jump in, do cannon spike. Um, so you can jump in cannon spike uh, in the air, which gives her the, the down cannon spike. Um, Guile or Ken? I'll go Guile because it's more rewarding. But I think we're going to make the money, make the points anyway. We'll try Guile. Um, but yeah, Cammy uh, will cannon spike USA. Um, off off her air. So she's got that, um, and she's got. Uh, oh, Cammy actually has an air throw too, um, which I I don't do often enough <laughs> when I play Cammy. But uh, today, one. today I think we're going to be all about the Sakura. So I'm, it's going to be me learning Sakura and me just learning to be better, because I feel like if I can get good with Sakura, or if I can get 
If I can learn Sakura, if I can play Sakura, I feel like I'm playing a character with better fundamentals than Kami. Like, Kami is, in a lot of ways, an odd character. Like, yeah, all her moves are basically uh, Shoto moves with kicks rather than punches. Um, so it's quarter circle and dragon punch. But she's also, uh, she has no projectiles for a start, so she doesn't have like a fireball or anything like that. She doesn't have, um, she does actually have one thing that uh, Sakura doesn't have. Basically that, but sure. She does have one thing that uh, Sakura has. Uh, I'm gonna lose here. Oh, damn it. Um, which is that she has that amazing V skill um, where she can dodge projectiles and stuff like that, um, and it's really good for uh, crossing up an opponent. Oh, I missed the third one. Um, but she has that amazing. Uh, Doing it too fast. Um, I'm trying to do the quarter circle and too fast. Oh, damn it. Stop it. There we go. Uh-oh. This could, this could get rough. This is gonna get rough. That should have been a kick, actually. Oh. Uh oh. Ah, V skill, damn it. Oh no. Oh, I lost. Anyway, my main reason for wanting to learn Sakura too is because I think she'll teach me to uh, be a bit more balanced in the way I play. Um, like, I am horrendously aggressive. Uh, do I want to keep uh, playing? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fight on. Um, but I want to learn to be less aggressive. Um, and I feel like what I need to do uh, with this game, if I want to get, like, competent with it, is to, um, how to say, Sakura. Yeah, let's, go. let's try Sakura Senpu. Um, if I want to get competent with it, I feel like what I need to do is, pardon me. Is get, uh, before I get into doing like raging combos and all that oh, kind of boy. good stuff. I need to just learn how to play. Like, I need to learn to stop doing stuff like that. I mean, it works against the AI, sure, but other players, not so much. Oh. Love it. The ground she gets off that Dragon Punch. There we go. There we go. I mean, you guys can see here, I, I, I sometimes don't even reliably get Dragon Punches out. That was an EX Dragon Punch, which I didn't want to do. Oh. I didn't realize Sakura had a Nut Punch. I mean, I know it technically isn't, because... Uh-oh. Yeah, her V2 skill is way better than her V1 skill. No, I definitely prefer Sakura's V2 to a V1. That that felt really good. So her V2 powers up her uh, Dragon Punch and Fireball. Um, so the downside to using a V skill is you actually have to hit with it. I could probably Tatsu here, couldn't I? Nope. He's just gonna block everything. 
And then he's got a neutral jump because AI. There, gotcha. Oh! Flash kicked! That throw parry though. Uh oh. No, down low. Oh no, 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 don't, no, that's not what I wanted to do there. There we go. That's better. Oh, that was a nice uh, three hit punch. <laughs> I didn't expect to get that out of guys. That went well. So that's what I mean, like, I, I just want, my, 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 my traditional way of playing was to dive in and, you know, hit as hard as possible for as long as possible and win the game. Um, it wasn't probably a much better strategy than button mashing. I'm gonna go... Because Armika has that stupid throw. Although, I did survive that throw a little bit. That was good times when that happened, wasn't it? Okay, I hope the noise of the joystick isn't coming in the microphone too loud. <laughs> like, it's probably it's probably hearable. I don't mind if you can hear it, but uh, I just hope it's not overwhelming my voice. I'm not hitting it too hard. It's it's kind of a noisy joystick, I reckon, but because um, it's kind of old and not soundproof, I guess. I don't know. Do they soundproof arcade sticks? Like it seems like you could do that. Um, like just to stop uh, sound reverberating through the uh, through the shell. But yeah, honestly, the stick still feels pretty good. Like, like I say, it's um, it's uh, probably not the best arcade stick in the world. It was only about I think I paid seventy dollars for it back in the day, um, and it's certainly not a hoary real arcade pro. Um, it's got got its own things, but it feels it still feels pretty solid. You know, like it's got the nice big round ball on the um. The nice big round ball on the uh, on the stick, and uh, it, it's a solid feeling arcade stick. Feels good. I did it. We did it. I'll just uh, respond to my text message. Right. Oh, got the timing on that third hit really well then. Oh yes, and supers into it. Nice. I am getting better. I think. Maybe not. I'm really just trashing crap arcade though. Uh, uh, AI. Although, the higher level AIs aren't aren't that easy. Like, the level 4 and 5... The level 5 ones don't seem that as easy. Although, I made that look a lot easier than it was. You win. But yeah. Uh, level 4 Dial Sims, fine. I keep getting Dial Sims in this game. Not getting any online requests at the moment. We are, we are technically playing online. I really love arcade requests. It was one of my favourite things in Street Fighter 4 was to have, uh, just, you just play through an arcade mode run, and then whenever a character comes in, it's like, okay, well, I'm fighting a human now, and then you go back to it, and it's really neat, uh, was a really neat system, and I'm really glad it's been brought back into Street Fighter V because this game needed that badly. Like Street Fighter V at launch was a solid fighter, and I, I, I won't lie, like the fighting in Street Fighter V was always good. Like Capcom can make a good fighting game for sure, right? That's not the problem. The problem that was that there was just not a lot else to do uh, beyond that. Like. It, unless you were going to spend all day waiting for online matches, you didn't have a lot else you could do in Street Fighter V. Um, and uh, that was the problem. Tried, tried for the uh, kick. <laughs> what was that, Skura? Ow. The nice thing about that is that if it gets blocked, you can do what I just did there, which is combo uh, out of it, um, which is nice. I thought that worked really well, though, actually. Although maybe he just dropped the block? I'm not sure. It is the AI, so it can be hard to tell what it's doing. 
But that that is such a good move. And that's a good move too. Old faithful dragon punch. There we go. Pun punish the air. Nope. Ah, block. That's my other weakness in this game. I do not block anywhere near enough. Ow. Damn it, Dalsim. I got him anyway. That went well. You win. And they'd spend a little bit of meter too. Vega or Nash? Uh, we'll go Vega. Normally you have an option of uh, a harder, a higher level AI or a lower level AI and you get less reward for the lower level. Sometimes it's the same level though and it's just about getting points, so. Um, but I, I kind of like this mode and I kind of like it's got like modes from all the previous games in the series. Um, or not all of them, but you know, it's sort of pivotal moments in the series basically i guess one for each sort of street fighter sub series so there's a street fighter one there's a street fighter 2 one um street fighter 2 one actually has all of the bosses that are in this game as the final battle so you have to fight uh vega um balrog and bison uh, obviously there's no saga in the game although i think he's rumored to be coming in season three maybe um but yeah obviously no no saga means that you can't use him but um that's fine Never liked Vega. I know he can be a really strong character to use, but I never got never got into his uh, style. And a again, being a charge character, he's just someone I wouldn't play a lot because uh, I just cannot do charges. Like I get with charges, what you're supposed to do is basically play very defensively and reactively. Um, so you always you've always got a charge building in the back that you then launch into your attacks out of. Um, but I'm just not, that's just not my style. Um, like, Guile is very much, like, Guile and Nash, you can both tell, uh, very much. That's how you're supposed to play them. Like, just their stance, the way they, the way they look like, and, law-wise, of course, Nash is Guile's sort of mentor, so it makes sense, but... When you see the way they stand, like, you see the way Nash stands with his arm down like that, um, and you can tell that he is waiting for you, he wants to react to you, um, and that's, you know, that's fine you if you want to play that way, I don't want to play that way. Like, you compare that to, say, Akami or uh, Sakura or Ryu, um, they all very much feel like they want to uh, play... So I want to level four. I'm gonna go level four Akuma. I haven't actually seen Akuma in this game. Mostly so I don't have to fight Nash. <laughs> uh, Nash is great, but yeah, we're gonna go Akuma. I've already continued once, so I've lost my chance of getting, uh, getting a good score anyway. So Akuma looks bloody ridiculous in this game too. Like legit, I don't like the way Akuma looks in Street Fighter Five. It, the art style in this game has grown on me a bit over the years. Like, I, I think I prefer Street Fighter 4's look overall, and I think overall I prefer the, the sprite based. But no, that's a lie. I don't don't prefer the sprite based games at all. I think they're fine. But Akuma is just a character that uh, I've never. Akuma's like the the ultimate Shoto. Um, like he's, and I mean he was always meant to be super Ryu and super Ken. And I, the, the stupid lion mane look that he had in this game, like, he doesn't have it here, he's got, like, a different look. But his default look in this game is this stupid lion mane. Ow. There we go, just, uh, just heavy punch him in the face. Or in the, in the chest or wherever that hit. You sure did, Sakura. That, that range on that dragon punch is so good. 
And basically, I, my under, I, I'm pretty sure that... Oh, combo into it. Yes. This is what we wanted. I'm pretty sure that uh, light, medium, and heavy determines how much uh, how much range you get. Oh, jeez, that was dumb. I'm the winner. I'm the best. Oh, no, I'm out of coke. Balrog or bison? Bison. Just because bison. Why would you not? Did I sound really weird when I said that? Oh, he's not even the final boss. Who's the final boss of Street Fighter Alpha? Of the Street Fighter Alpha path then? That's a really good question. Because I, I was assuming it was Bison. Because Bison is the final boss in the Alpha games in the arcade, isn't he? Is he the final boss Round of all three? One. I think he is, yeah. Fight. Oh! Really? Really, Bison? You're gonna... Right, fine. That's how it's gonna... Oh, jeez. That's how it's gonna be, eh? I'm just gonna keep doing that until... He... Well, it seems to be working so far. Well, if he's not going to defend it, I'm just going to keep taking his health. I mean, I, I don't care. Free, free health is free health, right? Also, for some reason, Sakuri, I'm, I get Sakuri's English voice, not a Japanese voice. And I'm not sure where to change that. Like, everyone else I have in Japanese, but for some reason, my Sakuri is always in English. I'm not sure why that is. <laughs> I, did it. And I really oh, don't like Sakura's English voice. None of the English voices are good. And like, why would you want English when you can have Nori or Wakamoto as Bison? Like, seriously. No, seriously, he's Bison. Um, like, the voice of Bato and all those cool guys that he's the voice of. Wow, he really doesn't know how to deal with that. I'm just going to keep doing it. Okay, I'm going to mess that one up, but sure. Okay. Oops, fine. Do I have enough V? I do now. Yeah, just elbow him in the chest. That's how he beat Bison. That's how he beat the, the Psycho Master. So who do we fight next? Ryu. I bet we fight Ryu. I was so right. Of course we fight Ryu. Now, fight your rival. Fight the man you want to put a baby in you. Secret area. Secret area. Dun dun dun. It'll be the, the stage from the story mode, won't it? Isn't that what it is? Yeah, it's one of the story mode stages. Oh no, it's where we fought Bison, just poor. Oh! Fine! That's how it's gonna be. Oh, I missed the third one. There's actually some timing on that. You can't just spam the buttons. You've got to, uh, so it's... Uh, if you hit it... If you hit it, and it actually... There. So it's not, not, you, you don't just mash all three buttons. You've got to, you've got to actually be doing it. Don't use my lights enough. There we go. Nice. Good work. Solid. Strong. I a lot of fun. I didn't think I was going to have a lot of fun streaming this today. Um, like, I thought, you know, I'd just be bad and I'd play this for like half an hour and then do Horizon, but I'm having a lot of fun with this, actually, at the moment. And I feel like I'm a bit better at Sakura than I was when I started this morning. 
Oh, just hit him. That'd be nice. Wow, that'll actually hit low. Okay. I don't know if that actually counts as a low hit though. Like if it, like it looked like it was a low hit, right? Ah, come on. Nope. Think I'm blocking? There we go. There we go. Critical out me or critical out you? You win. Critical out's a dumb name. Just call him Supers Capcom. That's what everyone calls him anyway. like five people telling me that no actually in the fighting game community every commentator has to refer to them as critical arts yes i know i've seen it you vote so this is what happens when you beat uh an arcade mode you basically get a retelling of their um story ending from that game i think i think he's gonna be my teacher oh boy oh Thank you for playing. And if you beat it, meet a certain score requirement, you get you unlock some stuff in the gallery as well. Um, if I go uh, back, there's a where's the gallery? There. Gallery. So you've got uh, arcade mode endings, yeah, and you can see all the things that you got to unlock. Wow, there's a lot. But of course, you got to buy all the characters for these too. Um, so there's those, and then there's. Yeah, that's right. And then you get, like, bonus artwork. So, because I beat uh, Street Fighter 1, I get Street Fighter 1 Ryu, and it's all like, Hey, he beat he beat Sagat, who isn't actually in this game, so you can't actually have that epic fight. Um, and, of course, he put the scar on Sagat's test. Um, and then, if you meet the score requirement, you get special artwork, which, in this case, is this piece of art here. Um, so, that's really neat as well. Okay. Um... Let's uh, do some more fight. Uh, what am I going to do now? Well, we beat that arcade mode. Let's uh, dive back in and have a look at the Street Fighter 3 arcade mode. Because I haven't actually done this one yet. Let's keep going. Who, who, who do I... Who can I play as in Street Fighter 3? Probably not Skura, because she's not in Street Fighter... Oh, I get it. Jeez. I could be a Buki. I haven't played a Buki very much, so I'm not very good with her. I might, might try a Buki, though. She's the only character I've got unlocked that I can really play. You can beat Urian and Colin if you bought those, and then Alex, and uh, who's the other guy? Akuma. Okay. Uh, I'll try my hand at Ibuki. I haven't played Ibuki very much, so I don't know if she's any good. Um, I only have her default. We'll start with her. One. I don't know what either of these do. <laughs> well, we'll start with one, and when we game over, we'll try two. How does that Okay. Yeah, for some reason I have Ibuki unlocked, but not, like, anyone else in this uh, particular... from that season. I think I must have spent fight money on her, um, would be the only the only way that would have happened. It's kind of a shame you can't use real money to purchase the individual characters, actually, because I'd love to get Sakura, but not anyone else from the current season. Okay. Okay, I'm going to have to learn how to play Ibuki. I think she's Shoto moves, as I recall. Let me have a look at her command list. Yeah, it's all Shadow. Shadow with kick and then some punch stuff. And there's EXs and all that stuff as well. Okay, neat, 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 neat. Okay, right, right. Okay. And that's her other attack, yeah. Okay, and that's her sort of teleporting slide. Yep, okay, I get it. What's her V skill? Okay, it's a it's a focus attack. Yeah. Oh, and she has a move that gets her daggers back too, doesn't she? That's right, I remember that. What was that move? Because she starts with so many daggers, and if I do this, she uses them. But then there's a move uh, to get them back. Possibly it's that one? No, I don't think it is. Those are her Vs. Um, uh, hang on, let me... Uh, LB and RB are up the top on this stick. Um, unique attacks. V 
racism, so yeah, that's her V skill. Okay, yep. Yeah. And her critical art is forward and kick. The throws, yeah, she's got throws, of course. But yeah, I don't know what gets her daggers back. Might be that. Oh well, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll figure it out as we go. So that's her, um, yeah, that's her teleporting kick. Oh, maybe it's her beast kick. Um, her beast skill's really strong, actually. But I'm certain there is a move that gets her daggers back, isn't there? Oh, and was that a command throw? Oh, we're just gonna keep trying with the Ricky. Like I said, I'm not no not really that great with it, so I don't really know how to use a Ricky that well, but uh didn't really want to be Ryu or Can either. Oh we'll figure it out as we go. Um, I might use the, uh, the easier AIs. Mirror match, Ibuki. I suppose being a head mode mirror match is possible. And it's her other costume too, her, uh, actual ninja outfit. The really neat thing about uh, Scurry being in the game is it means I think all the characters that are in, is it Karen's story mode or uh, Mika's story mode, um, where you actually see Ibuki and uh, Sakura at like Karen's house. Jump away, don't you? Nice. Haven't found a single uh, online opponent for a while. Probably shouldn't just war throw them, should I? That actually seems like a terrible idea. So it was uh, forward, forward, and ah, well, I'll just do that instead. That's a good move, actually. That's really strong. You win. Uh, Laura or Ken? Laura. Oh, pardon me. Okay, we are off to wherever we're off to now. Round one. Okay. Laura is a character I really like as a character, but I just don't play her very much. Um, I also, I find online I struggle against people who play her because she just, yeah, you can see what happens. Oh, come on. Oh, I forgot that Ibuki could do that. I'm going to lose this fight badly though. I love that she can literally just blow you up. Kabuki's bombs. Round two. Fight. Oh, 
Oh, there's all my knives. Time for those knifeless strats. Jeez, that type of V-Skill is actually really good. Should've light. Should've done a low light then. Oh, here we go! This'll, this'll kill too, very easily. Good opening, good opening, strong. Good combo. Good hits. Nice. Yeah, so she's actually more like Cammy in a way, isn't she? Because she does have the, the ground the ground attacks. Ow! Oh, ow! Bash the edge of my uh, arcade stick there. You oh, that win. actually really hurt. <laughs> oh, that was quite painful. Oh boy. Oh, that was good. Okay. That was quite painful. Ow. Ow. Bonus stage. Oh, is this the barrel breaking one? Oh, I hate the stage. Yes. Uh, this is annoying. I, I got 17 last time I did this. Um, but that was with uh, Sakura. A character I'm much better at than this character. Oh, damn it. Okay. I've, got to, I've got to get to where her kicks are. This is terrible. Oh, that was awful. That was bad. 11, 5500. Colin or Chun Li? Um, they were actually fought Colin. Colin? 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 I'm assuming by the spelling it's Colin, right? No, that sounds too much like Colin. No, it probably isn't. It's probably Colleen. Colleen! Let's just call her Colleen. Yeah, she looks like a Colleen. She's a Colleen. There we go. They spelled it wrong, but it's clearly a Colleen. When I was in primary school, I went to school with three girls all named Colleen. It was really Round weird. Fight! Okay, um... Wow, that was good! I don't know what I did there, but it was strong! Ow. Let's just keep doing that, eh? Yeah, nice, 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 went well. I can Ibuki. Now I know how to Ibuki. I'm happy about that. Round two. That was the move. That was the move that refreshes the uh, daggers. I don't know what it was, but I did it. I was gonna say, I could probably just be scared at this point. The future! Oh no! Win. I won! Yay! And now I've got Ken or Chun-Li? Uh, Ken.
buttons on this controller do feel a bit stiff now. They never felt as quite as stiff. Like, it's not been a problem in terms of hitting them, but there's just a bit more... When I press them softly, there's a bit more... There's a bit less give in them when I hit them, but it doesn't seem... Like, I think I mentioned... I, I, I went to talk about it before, that I had a... Jeez. Oh, Jeez. Ken, Ken, please, settle down. Oh boy, I might have lost this round. Ah, yep. Yeah. Anyway, I had a PS2 arcade stick once years and years ago, and I bought it cheap from Cash Converter. Too. And for some reason it had a soccer field printed on it. I don't know why it had the soccer field printed on it. Um, because, like, why would you ever play a soccer game with an arcade stick? But, uh, it did. Anyway. Oh, jeez. That's bad. Oh, come on. I'm going to lose this, I think. Well, not if I keep doing stuff like that, though. Oh, damn it. Oh. Uh-oh. Okay, we lost. Anyway! And the buttons on it had so much trouble in them that they were unusable. Um, like, it was like, you know on an arcade machine, it, you lose. if you ever played an arcade machine, they have a bunch of buttons, and there's buttons for buttons, and then there's a stick, and then there's usually two buttons that are, um, um and then there's buttons for pressing the 1p and 2p start buttons and they're usually like buttons that have a lot of travel and stuff like that like you don't just smash those buttons a lot of older arcade machines would use like these kind of long travel buttons for those and this okay like they look like arcade buttons still but they they yeah they just look like that uh, let's go on Street Fighter 4 no we didn't finish Street Fighter 3 Street Fighter 4 uh, who am I gonna play as what are my options here Buki, Zangief, Ryu, Chun-Li, Sakura, uh, Ken, Bison, Dalsim, and Kami, and Vega. Um, well, we're trying to get good with uh, Sakura, so why would we not be Sakura? Uh, default story, battle outfit. Let's be her battle outfit. Let's uh, pick. We've got to pay proper tribute, Sakura. right? Yeah, let's go. And Sakura Simple, yes. We've got to pay tribute. Okay, Malaysia. Nice. Um, anyway, we'll uh, probably only have a few rounds Round in one. this arcade mode. Oh, hey, it's Twice. the stage they banned. No, this stage is tournament banned because you can't see feet. Um, if I do that, that's why. Good stuff. I, I like the stage visually though, but yeah, the problem is that the water, um, so when you go do that, although you can't really see feet anyway doing that, can you? Anyway, the point is that that's, um, that's why nobody likes stage. See, here, here when you get further out, and this is where it becomes a problem. Why am I beasting? Hey, it's two friends beating each other up. Because they're actually best friends. You did it. Yep. Round two. Ah, oh, that's what I should do, actually. I should figure out where the Japanese voices are. Oh, that was an EXDP that I didn't really want to pull out then. That EX tattoo, though, worked really well. Nice. Heavy punch. You win. I win. I'm the winner. 
but it does occur to me actually that what I should do. Oh, jury. I haven't seen jury in action. I haven't played jury in action. I don't know why I did that. My coke's empty. My coke has been empty for a while. <sighs> uh, yeah, we might have to cut this short uh, because I want to check something in the options and I'm probably going to have to finish up for the day soon. Anyway, um, Feng Shui Engine. So, we might have a round of Sakura as uh, against Jury and then we might uh, round one. call it. Fight! That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. So against AI, I feel like I do okay, but when you're against human players, it can actually block and react um, in a way that AI doesn't. I don't feel as uh, comfortable with it, but yeah, I'm having fun. That's what we're doing. Um, I'm going to check something in the settings. Yeah. I remember where the start button is. The main menu. I think it'll be in the main menu. Yeah, it feels nice to be using the stick. So much nicer. Uh, sound settings, maybe? Uh, character voice language. J A J A J A J A J A. I guess that was your best. Oh, There was no way she was in Japanese before. English, Japanese. Yep. There's actually all but all options here too. Oh, and you can actually set it for each of the. Oh, that's neat. Nice, cool. Um, but that should uh, fix that. So everyone's in Japanese. That's what we want. As the gods intended. Anyway, um, I'm actually going to leave it there for the moment. Um, we're going to back out and uh, call it a day on the stream. I had a lot of fun. It was a good game. Uh, it is a good game. Uh, I might, uh, before I do that, I might actually turn, uh, turn that off. Just so, uh, just so I don't get a fight request while I'm finishing up. Um, yeah, uh, but yeah, Street Fighter Five Arcade Mode. Um, the game's good now, I guess. Uh, I mean, it was uh, it was competent as a fighting game. It just didn't have a lot around it. But I like the arcade mode, and I like um, the other thing that I liked for it. You know, it's good. It's good. It has has its moments. It's fun, um, and I definitely think that uh, I definitely think it's if you if you got Street Fighter Five when it came out and uh, you sort of put it away like I did um, because it wasn't very fun and also Guilty Gear Exard is a much better fighting game um, then uh, well uh, did reinstall it have a crack at it see if you like arcade mode um, and all that good stuff otherwise if you didn't get into Street Fighter 5 to begin with I don't think enough here is different that you're going to get into it now um, and it'd be nice if the DLC packs, if there was a deal with the DLC packs that you could get them all for a good price at the moment. Um, like, for, if I could pay like 20 bucks for Seasons 1 and 2, I probably would, but Season 1 is $10, Season 2 is 20 at the moment, and then it's, uh, I think 30 for Season 3, so... But, uh, yeah, like, if, if there was a deal where I could get, like, the first two seasons for 20 bucks or something like that, I'd probably jump in pretty strongly with that, but unfortunately there isn't right now, so, uh, just have to see how it goes. Anyway, um... Horizon Zero Dawn, I'm going to be back. I still need to organise a more regular streaming schedule. Um, I haven't uh, managed to do that yet. I don't know what's... I don't know how that's going to work at the moment because I've just got other things going on in my life that just make it difficult to stream regularly. I am hoping to find some time tomorrow, uh, my time, which is Friday, uh, my time to stream again. Um, probably in the afternoon, uh, but we'll see how that works out. And, uh, yeah, that might, that should probably be back on the horizon train, uh, for that. So we'll see how we go with that. But otherwise, uh, I'm going to leave it there. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.